Now we're going to do an experiment with the beaker and the dowel. I put the dowel in the beaker and nothing funny happens. You see the dowel above and below the glass without any funny business going on. But now we're going to put water in the beaker and observe the same thing. And we'll find that under the water, something strange goes on. So as we observe from the same perspective, the appearance will be different. The dowel that's under the water appears shifted to the right. When I move the dowel off center. Why is this? Well, let's go to the blackboard and look at the ray diagram. Here's a circle to represent the beaker itself as viewed from the top. We have water and air and a thin layer of glass, which we can neglect because remember, when the dowel is in the beaker and there is no water, there really is nothing strange going on. It's as if the glass is not there. Also, you can think of the glass having index of refraction that's close to the index of refraction of water, and therefore we can, among friends, say that the material, the medium, optically is very, very similar. So we can consider this as a two-media problem, water and air. Here's the top view. Looking from the top, and the top of the dowel, say, is there. Well, light from the dowel that's under the water will hit the interface somewhere along the way. And as we now place our normal in, we can analyze the refraction. Remember, a normal is easy to draw. When you have a circle, you go to the center and simply slice the perimeter or circumference any place you like and you have a normal. When light goes from water to air, the light bends away from the normal. Qualitatively, bending away appears to be somewhat straight down. An eyeball here observing this ray will conclude that the position of the dowel is a little to the right, which is what we observed. As illustrated in the diagram to the right, which is a side view. Let's look again at our experiment. The dowel under the water appears shifted to the right. If we move to the other side, it shifts then to the left, in each case toward the edge of the beaker. You may also notice that the appearance of the dowel below the water is a little magnified 